Hi and welcome to another enthalpy change calculation. This one's just to make sure that you can do it when two solutions are mixed. So last time we were just burning the fuel and heating up water. This time we've got a slightly different calculation. If you notice the question on the board, I'll step out of the way. So 50 cubic centimetres of hydrochloric acid and 30 cubic centimetres of sodium hydroxide are mixed together. So they would start to neutralise each other. Now in doing this they heat up the solution by 4 degrees Celsius. Both of them are one molar, just to keep the numbers nice and easy. And we want to calculate the enthalpy change for this reaction. So where to start? Again Q equals MC delta T. Now the mass, the mass of the environment. Is it 50? Is it 30? Do you add them together? Well think about it. the total environment. When you've poured them into the cup, are they separate? No, they start to mix together. So your actual mass is the sum of them. So 80 in this case. Now the specific heat capacity of solutions like this, you'll usually just be told to assume they behave like water. So again, water 4.18 will always be given to you if you've forgotten it from last time and the temperature change 4 so now you'll work out Q the energy provided to the environment get out your calculator punch these numbers in so we've got 80 times 4.18 times 4 equals so I've got an answer of 1337.6 1, now next step the enthalpy change so delta H so we've got the answer to this divided by a number of moles which is it the moles of the hydrochloric acid is it the moles of the sodium hydroxide? Is it the moles of both of them combined? Think about it. What you need to look at is how many moles of hydrochloric acid have actually reacted. Because if we compare the numbers, you will notice hydrochloric acid is in excess of the sodium hydroxide. So not all of the hydrochloric acid will have reacted. Some of it will just be sitting about, twiddling its thumbs, wondering where all of its friends have went. They've been deserted. So what you actually look for with these calculations is you work out the moles of both of the reactants. Whichever is lowest is the value you would put in under here. Now because I know HCl and NOH is a one-to-one, -one, then I can spot pretty easily that the sodium hydroxide is the lowest. So 30 divided by 1000 to convert our volume into dm cubed times by our concentration. You should be familiar with these equations from your Chem 1 exam. And now Q divided by number of moles. Now again you might be thinking why haven't I changed the sign here? You can do. So the actual energy in the, the chemical system would now have been lost. It would be negative. I'm just going to leave that just so you don't get confused with the previous one. So punch these into your calculator. So 1337.6 divided by 0 0.03 equals... And there is your answer. Hopefully somebody spotted I have forgotten to do something. What type of reaction is it? It is an exothermic reaction. The temperature rose. So remember what I should have down here? A negative for your enthalpy change. Now there are other types of questions where similar to this you can have a reaction taking place where you can have a certain amount of solid put into say hydrochloric acid so magnesium hydroxide is an example inserted into some acid 
When you are doing that, you do not add the mass of the solid to the mass of the solution. You just use the mass of the actual solution. So, an example, if I had 5 grams of magnesium hydroxide, inserted it into 50 cubic centimetres of hydrochloric acid, it is only the 50 which we would use. There is all sorts of physics involved in that and chemistry as well in terms of how they actually interact together, but it goes above what you need to look into. So hopefully that's cleared up two types of questions for you. Solution with solution and solid with solution. Remember, the moles on the bottom, you are always looking for the lowest value to go under there. And that is it for this second video on enthalpy change calculations.